Hey there, Posture Guys and Gals, Justin Archer here, aka The Posture Guy, your number one source on pain, posture, and performance. And today I have a kind of a thought provoking question for you, something I was curious to know. Uh, I talked with a lot of you one on one via uh, all kinds of forms of social media, an email, over the phone, and such. And I've been asking a lot of people, including just friends and family of mine, you know, how they think technology is affecting their health positively, negatively, because you hear, I think, certain parts of technology getting a bad rap uh, for health concerns, and I would agree, you know, too much time spent sitting uh, at a desk in front of a computer, but then you look at it from a maybe, you know, five, ten degree different perspective, and you go, well, is it technology's fault, or is it as we as humans, how we're choosing to use it, you know, there's a big difference spending five, six, seven, eight hours a day sitting uh, working on a computer versus standing a computer. And not to say standing is the the answer, the be all end all uh, answer, because as many of you know, standing for six to eight hours in one position working on a computer, that's bad for you too. Um, so again, is it, is it, you know, the technology that's being more interwoven uh, into our day-to-day -day lives, or is it how we choose to use it? Because anybody who's talked to me, uh, you know, with me for, you know, a few minutes knows that I'm a big geek, I'm a big nerd, I love, love tech, um, and, you know, I always tell people, you know, technology is made to make our lives easier, more productive, more efficient, but that means that we have to still use it correctly. So, you know, obviously I love tech because it allows me to to help you and other posture guys and gals and optimize selfies all throughout the world, you know, with the postureguy.com and the various services and products that I offer. Um, lately I've been adding a lot of new stuff to the site. Now you can leave voicemails for me. We can have an instant chat over here. Um, technology is great in that it's allowed me to leverage a lot of my knowledge and experience uh, to help you and, and others. So I think that's great. Um, but today, um, I won't make this too long, I know I already kind of have, but I just want to share with you some of my favorite resources for technology information. And you can check them out you know, at your own convenience and let me know what your thoughts are. I, I'm really curious to know. Um, but some of my favorite are uh, TechCrunch, uh, Lifehack, and Lifehack's just not about technology, it's about a lot of stuff, really, really cool things, um, just lifestyle things, communication, lifestyle, money, productivity, tech, work. Uh, the next web, a lot of good stuff, and I kind of like staying on the front end edge of technology just to kind of know what's coming up to plan for. Uh, CNET, you know, oldie but a goodie, uh, Tech Meme. Uh, let's see, Life Hacker, always a good one. Love Life Hacker, and uh, more recently, Recode. I know they've been around for a while, but I wasn't paying too much attention, uh, with the exception of the last you know two months or so. So those are some of my favorite. There's Engadget, and uh, you know, plenty of other tech sites out there. But those are some of the ones that I tune into on a, if not daily, a weekly basis to check in for all my tech news and everything. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of you know, bookmark tech things here. There's some social media, which obviously I use to keep in touch with, with you and others. Um, and if you saw my iPhone um, uh, screen, you would notice that there's a lot more apps on there to do similar things and, uh, you know, how to, how to leverage uh, and utilize different types of technology. So anyways, I'll cut it there for today. But like I said, I'm curious to know uh, if you can leave your answers in the comment section below how you use technology to better your life. Or if there's a part of your life that you find that technology is stressing you out, it's making things harder. Um, because I would love to, if, if I do have the answer, help out or at least point you towards a resource that can help you out. Because I don't think technology should make your life harder. Uh, if it is, then that's not the right technology for you. Either it's a wrong piece of technology, it wasn't designed properly, or, you know, human error. You know, we all, I've done this before too, is you're just not using it correctly. And you need to be taught or take, it, take the time to learn how to use that technology properly. All right. So anyways, uh, again, leave your answers in the comment section below. And I'll see you all tomorrow. All right. Until then, take care and keep moving.